Hey, what's going on there, folks? Uh, Earthmaster here checking in on this Thursday night, uh, November 14, 2019, 7.35 p.m. West Coast time here in California. And taking a look at the most recent updated information from USGS on their website. This is the one day magnitude 2.5 and above earthquakes. This is the Indonesia Islands region, and we are seeing quite, quite the... Uh, aftershock sequence here following that 7.1 magnitude earthquake this morning which uh, triggered a tsunami warning uh, locally within the area that was uh, quickly dropped after no tsunami was observed but take a look at all the earthquake aftershocks that are occurring following the 7.1 quite a bit of activity and these are some moderate uh, to somewhat major earthquake aftershocks a 5.9 right there being the latest largest one um, quite a few fours in there as well now this is just showing uh, I believe this is only going to be about 4.5 and above with this map I don't know if it's gonna let me see um, let's check one day all magnitudes that's US seven days all magnitudes I don't know if I want to do that I might just blow my computer let's see here real quick if this will update or not I don't think it will I think this is only going to show um, just 4.5 and above in this region but I'm pretty sure they're seeing a lot more than uh, than what we're seeing here on this map and once again this is just one day all magnitudes but with this being international uh, the USGS only showing 4.5 and above so uh, some significant earthquake activity occurring here in this part of the world right along what kind of plate boundary we got over here what's well, right on the edge if we zoom out a little bit here uh, Pacific Ring of Fire off here to the east a little bit just in an area where there's a lot of subduction and you know tearing of the skin and whatnot skin uh, the earth I should say um, and uh, of course, this this activity creating islands over time, you know, over millions of years and whatnot, with all the volcanic activity, uh, this is a hot spot of activity for Mother Earth right now. And um, it's possible, as I mentioned here a little bit ago when I jumped on the stream, that we could see uh, potentially something uh, larger striking this area here with over the next oh, like 12, 24 hours or so. It's been about 12 hours now since we've seen that 7.1 earlier today um, and uh, the likelihood of something bigger happening uh, is the window of opportunity shrinks as time goes by but there is still that shot I would say 12 24 hours of uh, potentially seeing a larger earthquake um, with all this activity that's occurring out here I mean it's just it's just non-stop aftershock after after aftershock of moderate to almost major quakes almost a 6.0 um, earlier and uh, it's not a definite thing that that would happen it's just a, a good possibility um, as we've seen in the past sometimes uh, all this activity is leading up to something much much bigger um, looking at the depth of these earthquakes here uh, that, that one's there a little deep that blue one I just clicked on the screen there 178 miles below or 178 kilometers below the surface there uh, kind of closer towards the Philippine Islands region there but north of the activity but associated with the activity that's occurring down to the south there uh, there's no doubt about it um, so something brewing underneath there a little bit further down most of the activity that's occurring is roughly around 35 kilometers uh, below the surface or so um, so uh, I think that 7.1 that struck occurred let me get rid of that thing right here I think it was about 45 kilometers let me check here and see oh, 33 okay so it looks like they may have updated that from earlier this morning when I did the update video so that's uh, it's just something to pay attention to folks uh, looking at the satellite view over here of the region uh, real quick uh, not really gonna show too much difference here uh, I guess you can kind of see the uh, underwater um, the plates there themselves you know kind of outlined in the red but you can see the tectonic plates um, 
and the red line. They kind of look like mountains or trenches or ridges, right? Subduction type areas there. In a, a very hot spot of activity, like I said, for, for Earth, creating all these cool islands out here in the Pacific. And uh, it's just a lot of major forces involved in it as well. But, uh, you know, I, I can't rule out, folks, that we may see something larger within the vicinity. Um, it may not necessarily be directly at this location that's taking place, but, uh, uh, like I said, I can't rule out anything within this, probably within this map right here that you're seeing on the screen um, of seeing possibly a, and it's not really a large geographical location here. It's just pretty small. We got a lot of complex um plate boundaries and and fault systems out here and and volcano activity um so you know just we'll see what happens after 12 hours or so if these earthquakes die down or not but uh, right now they're on the ramp up and that's uh it's just i've been watching it all day it's pretty crazy and uh like i say these this area out here if we see like an 8.0 or so there's no doubt it could trigger a tsunami um you know whether it's at about 33 kilometers or shallower uh, we could definitely see one being produced uh, with that magnitude so i do want to try something here real quick let's see what happens um i know this works for the most part here seven days let's see i thought i've seen worldwide on here all magnitudes it just it doesn't want to give me it so I guess we won't go that route. But uh, either way, um, looking at the rest of the globe out here, folks, you can see all the earthquake activity stacked up upon each other there in the uh, Earthquake 3D program here. Quite a bit. 7.1, uh, definitely a shaker. Looking at the rest of the earthquake activity out here, looks relatively quiet for the most part, which is kind of strange. Uh, looking at the United States area, West Coast, relatively quiet as well. Even though we are seeing a little bit of earthquake activity show up on the Southern California seismograph stations that I have over there on the left bottom side of the screen. Uh, right around the Hollister San Andreas Fault System area. Seeing a little spike of an earthquake activity pop up right here. Uh, let's see if that's going to show the hand or not. Uh, yeah, there we go just a little spike there right along the uh, San Andreas Fault section but the rest of the globe folks relatively quiet um, except for the uh, Indonesia area I mean pretty crazy let's be on guard um, I will do an update video and issue any type of tsunami warning um, if it does become warranted like I say I'm always watching these charts uh, I do have an Indonesia island chart station i should say that just uh, went off the screen there's kind of on the scrolling uh, data stations there so that's the one to watch for the current activity there in indonesia other than that live view of santa monica beach cam and uh relatively quiet down there it looks like as well can jump back off here folks uh earthquake 3d stream is up and running live stream 24 7 uh we've been doing that for quite a while a couple years now and uh we just broadcast uh live data from seismograph stations and um the globe here shoots out uh the earthquakes that are being produced across the globe there the magnitudes are on the flags the color of the rings indicate uh the age of the earthquakes and uh, the red rings indicating close to the 24-hour period of uh, dropping off there. And uh, the white rings being the more recent. Of course, with the green flag 5.0 in Indonesia being the most recent quake there. So have a good night, everyone. Uh, hopefully this will be the last update for the night. If not, I will jump on here and uh, definitely issue a new update. Have a good one. Peace.